Oh, uh, what's up, everybody? This is Titan, Titan Zug CNC. I'm right here on the nine axis SMX 3100 mil turn. It's a beast of a machine. And I thought, you know what? Let's just turn on the camera real quick. And I'm going to show you behind the scenes of what we actually have to invent to make all the videos happen that you guys see on YouTube on our TV show. camera housings. You can see a camera housing right here, right here, right here. They're different revisions. A lot of people actually, sometimes you see the camera housing in the video. So we actually put the GoPros in, they worked fine, but then the coolant started wearing them down, right? And a, one of the problems was, is we had such big holes because we didn't want to overheat the camera that the coolant just went in there and just started eating at it. And then we figured out like, we have to enclose the whole thing. All right, so we went to a style kind of like this is kind of like next generation where you actually take the GoPro, you pop it in here. It's got a nice little cap right there. Boom. And you close it up. But those also overheat. So now we actually went to a new style and this actually works great. It has a fan in it. It's got some cool technology. We changed from GoPros, went to a Sony and the Sony cameras, they're actually doing really good for us. We have different styles and now we're behind because this one works so good. We don't want to use any other camera housings. So we have Trevor, you guys know Trevor, he's in charge of our additive section in this company. And guess what? We just got the Mark II from Mark Forge. It's a crazy 3D printer where you can actually do like Kevlar, you can do carbon fiber, you can actually string the fiber. And he's actually printing us up new camera housing so we have enough for all the different machines because we're machining on multiple machines at the same time. So now we're going to the Mark II and we're stringing the fiber in a way that'll make it so you can't break it. In many cases, carbon fiber is just as strong as aluminum if you actually string it all the right way. So uh, let's go check out these camera housings. They're gonna be sick. Some of the key features about our camera housing, on this wall, we've got an opening with some internal venting so that we can place a USB powered fan so that it'll blow out any heat generated from the cameras. On the inside, we have a dovetail feature so that we can place the camera inside of the camera housing. On this wall, we have an opening that we can run cables through into the camera so we can film for long periods of time. There's been many different evolutions of our camera housing. This one by far gave the best finishes. It was printed on the Mark II out of Onyx, which is a microcarbon fiber filled nylon. First thing I'm gonna do is install these vent covers to keep the coolant from getting inside the camera housing. Next, we're gonna install a visor right here so the coolant doesn't flow over our window so that it doesn't cover up our shot. What's cool about these clips is they're reinforced with carbon fiber to keep them nice and strong. Next, we're gonna install our clear polycarbonate lens using Loctite non-corrosive RTV adhesive. It will give it a nice seal, keep coolant from getting inside. So next, we're gonna install our lid. And since we have the ability to laser mark in-house, we decided that we would put the camera number, our logo, and rise to greatness using the Trump TrueMark Station 3000. So now we can finish up by installing our camera into our camera housing with our dovetail mount. <laughs> 